Hey guys, it's Steve. What I'm going to show you today is how I go about putting this stroke line around the whole design to give it, uh, to make it stand out more. The simplest way to do this is once you get your artwork done, is simply duplicate it and just turn off the top layer and select all your artwork and unite it in the Pathfinder. Um, you will come across at times where you will have small pinhole gaps and you can just simply take the pen tool and cover them up. Let's simply just go back, select it all, and unite it again. Now once you have this filled to how you want it, just simply hit Shift and X, and then you just have the outline. And from here, you can simply increase the width or the weight of the stroke to what you see fit for your design. Now, an issue that you will come across is on my designs, I uh, use these fills right here. And at times, they'll get close to the edge. And when you go about making the stroke outline for your design, if you get these too close, they'll actually, this will incorporate into the stroke, and these will actually jag out into spikes in your design. Uh, for example, here, I, where's it at? Uh, I had one. Oh, for right here. See how close this uh, fill is to the actual stroke? Now, when I select all this and unite it, hit Shift X. See how that pops out right there? And I actually had one over here, too. And when you actually increase the width of the stroke, these are actually going to spike out and either go across your design or actually stick out over here. So the best bet to counter that is what I normally do is I'll select all the standard fills and go to select, same appearance, and drag all those onto a new layer. And that way they're out of the way when I go about creating the stroke around the whole design. Then when I'm done, I just simply just select them all and just drag them back down. Hope this helps. Again, thanks for the support and watching the videos. Have a good one.